Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Now, yes, probably the most requested <laughs> thing ever is this dandelion of death. And that is what I'll be showing you, you guys today, is how to do the dandelion of death, um, and as well as quite a few other ones. Um, but basically, it's really just adding attributes to items. Now, I've taken items that is not commonly used uh, in for these kind of attributes. So normally, it's put on weapons and armor and things like that. But I decided to actually put it on something a bit more interesting. So that it just looks normal without anybody actually knowing what it is until they actually use it. So first off, what we're going to be looking at is the death head of health. Okay, so if I give myself a death head of health, you'll see the moment I kind of select it or have it actively in my hand, you will see it, it immediately gives me a whole bunch of new, um, uh, a whole bunch of hearts. So it's actually up to my health. So if I have a look at it, it's actually plus 100 at my health. So it's given me, I think, about a th uh, yeah, plus 100 health. <laughs> Can't really say much more about that. But as you can see, I do need to then um, be able to actually regenerate that over time so I do need to have saturation on and so forth um, but let me just uh, I'm trying to think effect add player is it six uh, ten seconds and just make it 250 okay there we go so I've seen I've just I've just given myself instant health so the moment I let go you will see that I now have just the normal health bar. When it's in my active slot again, I have full health. Right now, if it, this is an arm and you're actually wearing it, so if I actually put this health, this this uh, mob head on, you will see it's now permanently uh, displayed. Okay, so if I equip an item, like if I, I put it on any one of these um, the armor slots, it will then actually always have that health for me right so that's that's very very basic then over here i've got the dandelion of death so if you go and have a look at it you'll see that it's got a plus 100 attack damage so it will pretty much kill anything instantly okay so if i for example go uh summon uh this is a very bad idea and uh dragon okay and if i kill it you'll see it just take why does this not okay it takes a few hits okay but with just a few hits in, in normal survival, see how quickly that killed it. Oh, that was not a good idea. Well done, Dragnos. Okay, anyway. Boom. Okay, so there you can see that. Um, right, so that's the dandelion of, of death. Then I've got the anvil of we. <laughs> so what this anvil does, it gives me plus two speed. Okay, so this gives me 200% speed, which is kind of very cool, if very weird okay well, it's quite weird to actually run like this oh! okay <laughs> okay that's the anvil of anvil of we okay and then we have the lead feather now what the lead feather does okay um is if i now go and spawn a zombie so uh oops see what am i doing so summon zombie okay you'll see that when a zombie hits me, I go flying back a bit. Okay, you see I go flying back. Okay, now the moment I have this feather in hand, you'll see nothing happens. So this is a lead feather. It keeps me grounded. So I can't actually... Um, I won't go flying back. Let me just get rid of him. Oh, where's my flower of death? There we go. Just died from uh, from that. Okay, so um, oh, let me just top up my health again. Right, so what that's what this uh, the feather does. So if you go see, it is just a hundred plus hundred knockback resistance. So I will not move if they hit me. So these are the, actually the only real four that you can actually use. Okay, so it's it's kind of mm, not quite nice, but uh, they, hopefully they will probably add more in the future. And then the last but not least, I've got button of ultimate power. <laughs> right, so if I use it. You'll see that it has a mob follow range, max health, knockback resistance, attack damage, uh, plus two speed. So by using this, you know, I am pretty much have the ultimate power. I can now kill anything, move as fast as I want. Um, you'll see I have my health is completely maxed out and everything. Okay, so um, let's quickly go look at the command and then I'll show you something else I've been playing with. Okay, so let's go have a look at the command. Right, so this is the paste bin that I use. So do go and have a look look at it. So the way this works is, first of all, you need to give the item to a player. Okay, so you can be at any player, uh, at whatever the player is. You can add any kind of um, parameters to it. So if it's a, if the player is a certain level, if it's got a, if it has a certain score, a scoreboard score, uh, if he's in a certain location, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and then the item, how? Oops, see that shouldn't have happened. Um, how many of the item? 
And if the item has any specific data value, so if it's colored wool or something like that, you'll just add that there. Then you're going to open your bracket and add attribute modifiers. So this is different to when you actually add it to a mob. So you need to add attribute modifiers, okay? Then you need to open up a, a square bracket. And then uh, you open up another curly, curly, weirdy, brackety thing. And then you start with operation. Now, operation can be zero or one. Okay, this just means that it's either going to display it as plus 100 or a thousand percent. Okay, so it just the one, the zero displays it as a number like plus 100 and the one displays it as a percentage. Now be very, very careful. Never use anything but zero and one. If you use two, your game will crash. Okay, and you will not be able to recover. Well, you will be able to recover it, but it's going to it'd be a, a pain in the butt to to recover that world okay so always make it zero and one then you have something called the UUID which is the un uh, universal unique ID now the way I understand this is that, that the U UUID least and UUID most is the uh, is, is a way to uh, give that item or that particular effect a unique ID in the world okay and each one of these ID items has to have a unique ID now please in the comments if you understand the UUID and where it comes from or any references of what it does please let me know below okay I would I am interested to find out more uh, for me I'm not co concerned too much too much about it because I'm just doing you uh, doing one you'll see I've got five three four so as long as those items the UUID least and UUID most uh, is is a unique number it's absolutely fine and it's very important it you have to have this if you do not have the UUIDs in there no matter what the actual number is it this won't work okay next we have the amount so this is how strong the particular uh, attribute is going to be okay in this case it's movement speed so five would be uh, 500 500 percent I think or 500 times okay then you have the attribute name so in this case it's the general a uh, gen generic movement speed and then the name for that particular uh, effect uh, the name of played with it dropping it adding it I found it works best if you do add the name okay and then all I've done is I've just add another display uh, which is just the name of anvil of we in this case and then I mean all of the codes are here here's the, the speed here's the follow range here's the health here's the knockback here's the attack damage now the follow range I'll show you in a moment it does nothing to you as a player but it does do something to a mob and then over here I've got all of the attributes now you'll see that um, where the square bracket comes in is that this operation there we go you'll see all, all of the the um, attribute name names uh, needs to be within the square brackets okay so you'll see there's only a square bracket open there and then right in the end it closes it up here okay um, so yeah do do go go through this. this this will be in the description so the link for this will be in the description as well as the actual uh, codes but be warned if you put these codes uh, copy and paste directly from YouTube it will copy and paste the hidden HTML code which will not make this work okay Right, okay, so let us go back uh, into Minecraft. I'm going to now show you something very, very cool. Okay, so I've now created a mob. I want to actually do a separate video on this, actually. I might actually just split this video up in any way, so be warned, you probably will get a duplicate video of this, but just on this particular case. So here I've got something called an immobilized zombie. So over here I've got Bob. So as you can see, I am in creative. Okay, so am I still wearing this hat? Why is this hat not working for? There we go. As you can see, this is Bob. Now, Bob is immobilized. He doesn't care. Okay, he doesn't actually care. He doesn't want... To, the moment I get close to him, right into him, okay, like, fine, sorry, sorry, I won't, won't invade his personal space, Bob will hit me. But apart from that, he doesn't care. Except if I give him a stone of a follow. Okay, so here I've got a stone of follow. So if I give myself the stone and I give him the stone. Okay, so I'm going to throw the stone at him. Q. Okay, he will immediately start following me. And as you can see, he is quite fast as well. Here he comes, here he comes, here he comes. <laughs> okay, um, so let me just give my dandelion of death. Right, so can you guys know what what's going on here do you guys know what's going on here okay I'm gonna pause a little bit and try and exp you guys go and figure out what what happened here actually no 
Yes, no, no, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Okay, so basically what happened here is Bob, okay, has a generic follow range of one block. So he will only, if I come within one block, will he actually detect that I am there. So he's not going to move at all unless I'm within one block. And then, you know, he's going to hit me, I'm going to move away. He's not going to know that I'm there and he's not going to move. Okay, so he's, he won't move at all. However, what this stone does, okay, it actually sets his mob follow range to 100 and it gives him a 0.2 speed increase. Okay, so that immediately the moment he picks up the stone, he um, he will know that that I'm there, he'll detect me straight away and he will uh, attack me. Okay, so that's, that's really how cool it is. So we can do a lot of stuff with this. You can do like a, a zombie map where if you die, you give a item to that person where they lie so that a zombie can maybe pick it up, increasing their power. So you can actually customize the mobs in real time depending on what happens. So if, you know, if, um, if two people die, I, this I haven't tested if it'll pick up two items. I think it'll only do one item, but I mean, you can do a random item and if somebody dies, uh, you know, that, mo that monster then becomes a, a boss mob immediately because you can add all of these attributes to it so if i for example give him this ultimate ultimate power button okay it will just it'll just completely over, over op him i mean there's no way i'm going to be able to beat him there cool guys yes oops i'm running around okay guys thank you very much for watching that's it really appreciate all your patience while you've waited for me to actually make this video <laughs> but yeah i hope you enjoyed it cool guys Thank you very much for watching, and uh, yeah, as always, I will check you all later.